Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, in this lecture, we want to talk about the strength of uh, weld. We got this simple problem here. We got two plate. Uh, first plate is about three eight by twelve inch, and the second plate is uh, three eight thick by uh, eight inch. So this is eight inch, and this is uh, twelve inch. And uh, we want to know, and it's welded at ten inch of the on each side of this small plate is welded to the bigger plate. We like to know what is the strength of this weld is. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and check the nominal weld strength Rn. And if you look at the uh, equation uh, from AS ASCS uh, J2-2, Rn is equal to FNW times AW. And, uh, and uh, so we're going to go ahead and say uh, Rn is equal to FNW is basically 0.6 time uh, the 70 KSI. Then uh, we have, it, this is a one quarter inch thick. And we have to multiply one quarter inch by 0 0.707 because of the, what is mentioned in the spec and uh, do it at the 45 degree angle that the throat can fail. That is the, uh, probably the weakest spot and multiply by the length. So the area is basically thickness times the length. So the length we have is a 10 inch here and 10 inch here, so it makes it 20 inch. That means time uh, 10 plus 10. And so Rn comes out to 148.5 k. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check in the uh, length to the width ratio <coughs> of the weld to make sure it meets the spec. So it, do we need to make any reduction or not? And L over W is equal. And the length is a 10 inch weld. And it's a one quarter inch uh, weld. One quarter inch, so divided by one quarter. And that's equal 40, which is less than 100. That means our beta is equal one, so there is no reduction necessary. So what we're going to say, we're going to say, all right, phi time Rn, which is uh, 1.75 time uh, 148.5, and that comes out to 111.4 kip. And on the same side, we're going to say Rn divided by omega comes out to uh, 148.5 divided by 2. And that comes 74.2 kip. So this is a strength of our weld from low resistance factor design and allowable stress design. Now let's find out how strong this welding is. Let's find out what is the tensile strength of the plate itself. If I take this piece of plate and I pull it until I rip it, how much force does it take to rip it? Am I going to rip the plate first, or am I going to rip the weld out first? So let's find out. And the uh, weld capacity in LFRD is 111.4 kip. That's how strong that weld is. If you want to pull it up, if you want to pull the part, it takes about 111.4 kip. Or in a lot of stresses, I basically take about 74.2 kip to rip it apart. What about the plate itself? Let's compare the strength of the plate to the weld. See which one is the stronger. Am I going to rip the plate apart first, or am I going to uh, rip the plate away from the weld itself? So we're going to check the tensile uh, yielding. We did this before, if you remember. Uh, then we can say our Rn here is equal Fy times Ag. And the Fy for this plate is, say, is 36 KSI steel. So that's equal 36 KSI multiply by the gross cross-sectional area, the cross-sectional area of this plate, which is 8 inches wide by the thickness of 3.8. Therefore, it's about 3.8 times 8 inches, 108 kip. Now we're going to take this, and we're going to convert them both into load resistant factor design and allowable stress design. If you ever had these, don't know what I'm talking about here, please watch my earlier video, because when you do a load calculation, the load calculation is different for both of them. 
That's why they are a different number here. So ba back in here, we're going to become, uh, let me use a different color. Um, for this, so it's going to become phi time, make a line here, phi time Rn, and that is, remember, the phi for tensile yielding per code is 0 0.9. The phi for welding is 0 0.75. So it's a for tensile system is 0 0.9 time 108, and that is equal 97.2 kip. And as you can see, you can rip the plate apart first before the welding can give up. Now on the other side, it's going to be Rn divided by omega, and omega for uh, tensile yielding is. So we're going to have uh, 108 time divided by 1.67 to 64.7 kip. But let's find out where is it going to fail, how much strength that has for tensile rupture strength. If we go back to earlier video, we calculated that Rn came out to be uh, uh, FAU time AE. And... Uh, AE is basically AG times U. So we have to figure U out. And U, if you look at a table D3, from table D3 you can find that U almost comes out to 0.75 because um, when we look at it is uh, 0.5 of time W, which is 1.5 times uh, 8. W in this case is the width of our plate, and L is the length of our weld. And here we can use the formula, comes out almost to 0.75, or we can use the older version, basically give you, it says, okay, 1.5 W, which is 1.5 times 8, and that becomes 12 inch, which is more than the L itself, which is a 10 inch, and 10 is more than uh, 8 inch, the width. So therefore, U is equal to 0.75. So now this comes out to 58 times 3, 8 by 8 by 0.75, and that comes out to 30.5 kip. Again, we do the same thing, take them back in here, convert them back to load resistance factor design, and we convert them back to a level stress design. 0.75. So it's a 0.75 times uh, 130.5, and that's equal 97.9 kip. Same thing here, Rn divided by omega comes out to 130.5, and omega for rup tensile rupture per spec is 2, and that equals 65.2 kip. So this is control. That means your plate's going to fail before the world's going to give up. Now, this problem is really easy. We can go ahead and uh, make the world longer, and this become even stronger. But if you make the plate thicker, or if you make the plate made from a, a 50 KSI, then you can adjust the welding uh, length so your weld will not fail and your plate fail before the weld fails. Again, depend when you design this how comfortable you are. So we're going to do to do two problems. So this basically gave you an idea how strong the world is. Let's go ahead and design the problem. How are we going to come up, how long our world is supposed to be, and how thick our uh, 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 fillet be to design based on a certain strength. Let me erase this. We're going to go to the second problem. OK, so this time we have this two plate, just like last one. Uh, this plate is a uh, 1 half inch by 12 inch. This one is a uh, one half inch thick by an eight inch. And we want to know how much length we should weld to satisfy the dead load of 50 kip and the life load of 75 kip. Now, um, first thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and calculate our load based on load resistance factor design and uh, ASD. So our RU comes out to 1.2 times 50 for the dead load, 
plus 1.6 times the life load, which is 75 kips, equal 180 kip. For the law works just as any, just add both of them. So RA is equal 50 plus 75, and that's 125 kip. The max work size per the code, it says has to be uh, the thickness of the plate minus 116. And uh, our plate is about half inch thick and minus 116. That is uh, uh, 816 minus 116, so makes it 716. Then we can use 716 here. We want to know how strong the 716 weld is per one inch per inch. And we know the formula that we had before was F. So the strength uh, of the 716 is basically per formula is FNW times AWE. So this was uh, 0 0.6 times 70. And time we're going to do this per inch. Therefore, the area we're going to say it's going to be time the uh, the uh, weld itself, which is 716, and multiply that by 0 0.707, just like last time, and that's per one inch. So we don't have to multiply by the length, and we're going to figure that out later. So Rn comes out here equal. This is 12.99 kip per inch take this number, put it back in here, and figure it out in both load resistance factor design and ASD. And I'm going to have uh, 1299. Remember, the uh, phi is 0.75. So phi time Rn is equal to 0.75 times 1299. And that is equal 974 kip per inch. Same thing here, Rn divided by omega, it is uh, 1299 divided by 2 equals 649 kip per inch. We know our load is 180 kip, and we know our resistance is 9.74 kip per inch. And we know the length that we're looking for is two of them. So the L is here, one L here, one L there. Then I'm, I'm going to say, okay, 2L is equal, one here, one there. And the resistance, the, the applied load was 180 kip. And the resistance was 9.74 kip per inch. So now what I, this number comes up, 18.48 inches. So if we divide that by 2, become 924. Uh, so L is equal 9.24. So use anything bigger than 10 inches, 10 inch or bigger. That way you make sure that your strength of your weld is well more than the applied load. Now we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to say, OK, 2L is equal uh, 125 divide that by uh, 649 and that comes out to 1926 so divide that by 2 basically use uh, L bigger than 10 inches 10 inch or more this assignment for you go back look at the first example figure out what's the strength of the small plate is say what's gonna which one gonna fail this gonna fail or that's going to fail. Then you can adjust your welding length to make sure that the plate fail first before the, uh, or your load might not even be big enough to fail the plate anyway. So I hope uh, you learned. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. Have a good day.